need a stretch. You don't make no clap back when you backpack, my bad, but I'm past that. But an ass back, that's cash. When the money fall, I'ma slap that. Clap when the money go, you don't slap. That's facts. If the money low, I'ma grab some proud man. When it come back, I'ma give back my bad. When the check hit, the direct hit, I'm glad. When the check miss, the direct hit, I'm sad. Like who's that knocking at my window? My window. They say that it's the money. I'm like tenfold. Oh, that's gonna make you fuck like a limbo. She says she not a. She and. Why you do that like that? like that? It's a lot of money. Why are you mad like that? Like that? Ooh, ooh, I'm in my new bag, my bag. My bad. You ain't get too bad, my bad. Yeah. Uh, first of the month, I'ma run it back. Ay. Same day, why I'ma run it back? Yeah. Friday, payday, run it back. Ay. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Ooh. 48 yards, I run it back. Ay. I cop a car, I run it back. Yeah. Go your then run it back. Uh. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Run it back. Yeah, I just ran a check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by a cell. I could get it by myself. I could get it by myself. Okay, Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Southern California and the newly named Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and our home team. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. for the pass last year as a rookie, Sony Michelle. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here we go. From the gun, it's Brady. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That one good for 13 and a charger first. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Wait, wait, 20, 57, come on. It's been a long day for you. Go Bandit. On second and 11 now, Brady. Flushed out right. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 39. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. 
So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. Brady's throw there complete. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Brady. Eluding the pressure right. Finds his rookie first rounder. It's Noah Fan. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 27 yard line. First down at the 27 yard line. Hey, Fly, 20. Hey, pick you up. Hey, go 66. He's checking, he's checking. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Hey, 66. Shotgun now for Brady. Got his man there complete to Gallup. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. This is one thing you can't do with Tom Brady. Let him get in a rhythm, let him get rolling early. Every time you talk about Tom Brady or any other great quarterback, you always talk to the defensive guys and they say, you got to get him off his spot. What they mean by that is when you go back three-step, five-step, seven-step drop, and they just hit the same spot and then they're set up to throw the ball, get them to move a little bit, get them to hold the ball. And the pressure that affects just about any quarterback, right up the middle. Remember the Super Bowl? Atlanta's best success came up the middle pressure, what we call gut pressure. He's crazy. He's checking crack. Check now a first down carry. It's Michelle. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. But well, no takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the pro bowler, Byron Jones. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Uh, no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drop. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They'll try to right side with Elliott. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, he almost picked it. 
Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a play fake, Brady. Complete to Jones. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. You got tight. You got tight. Let me kill. On second down, it's Coleman. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Hey, he's 53! Get out. Check out, check out. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's got his tight end fan. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 23. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. We're scoreless after one. Throwing on first down is Brady. This complete to Jones. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Michelle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield, second and goal. They get it to him running left, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Sony Michelle. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Set. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. No, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Watson now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Ten yards there. Good enough for a Texan first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Watson. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. They give him a gain of 38. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed, now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Come on, QB, come on. Check, check 43. Check, check. Hey, Larry, Larry. Hey, 31. Hey, we got a snubber. We got a snubber. Rush in, man. Rush in. Shit, shit. That is wrong. And he's brought down right at the five yard line. Give him two on the play. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Elliott. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Ezekiel Elliott, his fourth touchdown on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Dawson able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense. Oh, he can't get away and Brady will go down. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Brady now. 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Now Brady. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. 
And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. He was taken down by Quentin Dunbar. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. For Zeke, what a first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Taken down inside the 30. 10 yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. It's been my observation there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Throwing again is Watson. Steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9 but no further now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one this is 
Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Texans get a signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Try the air now with Watson being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Elliott. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. First down, it's Watson escaping the pressure right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. On second and ten, Watson. Now he'll pull it down. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Set. 
third and two, wants it. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try to sweep with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. But it didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. A shotgun snap for Watson. Oh, he's going to go for it all. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll roll them out right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh... Chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. The last run got six, now second and four. Now it's Watson. And that's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Watson forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll be a 
48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. The Charger drive about to get going. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield and out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you either throw on the touchdown or you throw on the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Brady now, 11 of 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. The first down carry by Elliott. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will be third and five. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Whip, 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 whip. Put the point down, he's coming. Check the backer. Check three, check three, check three. Down and look. Watson from the gun, he'll throw. Eluding the pressure right. Looking. He's got a man complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. They come out here in the eye. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Watch the rep, watch the rep. Check, 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 check. Hey, 
They'll try again with Elliott. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Texans have taken the lead. Dawson tacks on the point after, and that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The Charger drive about to get going. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Throwing again on second down. Brady. This is Coleman with a grab. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. To throw is Brady. Open man is Uzama. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. Completes it to Coleman. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 15 yards on that one and a Charger first down. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when and told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure it out. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Sony Michelle with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Operating from the gun. Watson flush to his right. Yeah, he'll find Hall. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Check 99. Check 96. They'll run with Elliott. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. Now it's Watson, and he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Watson escaping the pressure right and he will find Ridley that's complete and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. On first down, Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. He's taken down in the backfield. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Let's get it. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. A 28-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you'd have to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's gone, you think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play into overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home. Their 
The Charger drive about to get going. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're in And a big loss here as he's taken down. Ochina Nuosu in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Brings up second down. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for the Texans, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.